Bro, I'm setting this shit up and it almost feels like I'm about to give a deposition or some shit. Like setting this chair up, got the fucking light right here and shit and it's beaming on my face. What's good, family? Today we back in the stool with another video. Honestly, I just want to talk to y'all for a little bit. I feel like I've been getting in this like program where I drop the same shit literally almost all the time. And it's getting kind of dead to me as it would any human, bro. Like I feel like I'm just in this routine and I'm trying to get out of it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know what this video is is right here but i guess i just wanted to share how i feel i feel like y'all don't even really get to know me bro like i do these videos for supreme and shit and it's almost like a set video where i know i just walk up do my little drop list and i'm out this bitch really you don't really get to see what i do behind the scenes how many hours i end up editing for like literally there's so much shit to it today i had to run some errands you feel me hit bj's up got some little groceries and my head ass i forgot them shits in my car bro so literally after i filmed this clip i I gotta go get this shit but i came upstairs and i actually ended up watching x's hulu special that shit was okay you feel me i knew that he did have like a traumatizing past but i didn't know it went as deep as it did and honestly that shit makes him look a certain type of way i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say dude was the best person because literally had a lot of negative energy pent up but when i really started hearing x he was on some more positive shit and low-key i'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all his shit actually helped me get through shit that I was going through at the time. There's a lot of stuff that played into how he was dealing with his emotions. I don't know. It's kind of cool when they make documentaries, especially on artists that we like. The only thing for me is like, what type of intention do they have behind that shit? Like, I don't know if they were making that shit as a money grab or whatever it is. I do like the fact that they did share his story a little bit more, but I don't know if I personally want to put some shit like that out there of somebody that you love. You know what I'm saying? But that's low key what I was up to this morning. Right now, I literally been procrastinating filming my Supreme shit. That's why I end up posting late low key. I get up here and I'm not really even trying to talk about this shit. If y'all notice, I ain't even been buying Supreme like that, bro. Like I just been chilling. There's been some heat though. Here and there, little sprinkle, sprinkle, you feel me? I don't know, man. I'm kind of just overspending so much money on shirts and shit. And for the longest, I've been feeling like almost stuck making the same type of content and I need to shake that shit off immediately, bro. Like I don't care how many views these type of videos get i just want to kind of get them off you feel me if that makes sense honestly i didn't know what the fuck this video was going to turn into but i guess i'm gonna do top five sneakers in my collection right now leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and with all that being said let's get straight to it i promise i ain't even know this was gonna be that but i might as well title it something and then still talk about what's going on so top five in my collection right now i don't even know bro i'm about to look back and see what i got at number five, I'm putting the Varsity Red Jordan 6s. Banger, these released in 2009 or 10, if I'm not tripping. Nine to 10, you feel me? These actually go hard. I love these. I love the fact that it's mainly black. And then the red on these is a little bit darker than the infrareds, which is one of my favorite features, but thing with these is they're kind of old so they're starting to crack on me and it kind of sucks i'm not gonna lie bro y'all can see that paint right there every time i wear these shits they get a little bit worse so i kind of gotta choose my battle wisely when it comes to these this is mandatory bro number four is the royal ones you just can't go wrong with the royal one bro this is the og take it back to the days my favorite color is blue honestly a lot of shades of blue so this is right up my alley like i really with these love these when i started this collection i had probably like five shoes that i really with and this was one of them i had these my baron jordan ones some wide threes bro some ultra boost and that's really when i was like bro i want to do this shit for real it's almost when i started my channel hey these been with me for a minute i paid resale for these and it was literally around retail jordan ones weren't doing all that it was nothing too crazy i really wish i would have bought more pairs back in the day but i ain't even have it like that i'm not gonna lie to y'all so number four was the royal ones come on bro mando cop Yo, I wanna start doing more videos that have to do with like more real life shit, like stuff that I could walk out and do or even just talk to y'all about who I am, literally. Like, bro, what the fuck? I've been doing YouTube for five years and y'all probably don't even know shit about me. Shit is crazy, like, it don't make no sense. Change is coming, just trust me. Bro, I've had these shits for a minute. I haven't even worn them. I don't even know if I wanna keep these shits. I got my Marina Blues and I don't know if these gonna make the cut, bro. Let me know if y'all 
I'd rather have these or the marinas in your collection. I feel like I have a lot of blue, but I've never pulled these out and I've had them for a minute, laced up and all that. I just, I don't know. I know I just showed y'all a Jordan 1, but number three is the Ama Meunier Jordan 1. This is a beautiful sneaker. It has almost like a washed wine outsole with the burgundy right there, quilted lining. This is just a beautiful shoe. Simple colors, kept it real monotone for you to be able to rock with a lot of fits, at least in my opinion. I don't know which I like more out of these in the twos, honestly. That snake skin on the midsole for the twos kind of fucks it up. So this is a better choice. I don't know. Let me know if you like these or the twos more. I honestly might say this is better than the two. Not trying to be biased. I don't have the twos. This is honestly a sneaker that I see myself wearing more. And that cracked leather on these is something that Jordan is implementing on more Jordans as we've seen time pass. So, hey, this might be a first of its time. Kind of want to see how these age because that cracked leather could either be good or bad, bro. Like, I don't know where it's going to go, but it's going to go somewhere. Like, I love key see it peeling on certain areas and shit and i'm trying not to be like stressed about it because there's nothing i could do dead ass number two has to be these off-white prestos i wore these yesterday literally bro i love these wearability wise it's actually crazy how often i do wear these out of all my hype shoes this is probably the one that gets the most love these go hard bro like you just cannot go wrong with them that little bit of cream with the aged swoosh come on bro a little hint of red perfect sneaker in my opinion i like these and the OGs can't go wrong, that ass. It's almost bittersweet because you wear them and then it's like, bro, I don't want to fuck these up. Like, I really love these. And chances of me spending another rack is slim, bro. Like, I'm not about to buy these bitches over, you feel me? I'm about to have to deal with however they look in the future. It just is what it is. Off-white Prestos, exquisite, bro. Them shits go so hard, like, dead ass. Number one for me right now is these. And I actually wore these this weekend as well. I wore these and the other ones. Off-white Jordan 5s. I don't even know what I can say about these. I've worn these a lot to the point where the paint on the back is starting to peel low key i need to fix these asap i do got some flat matte black paint so i might touch these up a little bit you feel me these are gorgeous, bro. I deadass might go ahead and cop the sale pair before they get unattainable because this is probably one of my favorite shoes ever, bro. I love the metallic fives. So what he did with these is amazing. I just hate the fact that they do tend to have extra materials and shit just everywhere. That's kind of the aesthetic of the shoe anyway. So I can't even be tight, you feel me? It is what it is. I'm grateful to have these. Low key, a subscriber sold me these. And bro, I'm forever grateful. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is probably second most worn high sneaker in my collection behind the prestos beautiful shoe honestly would never sell these or trade these if i could double up i honestly would i'm not gonna lie to you i really do love these and this was my number one favorite sneaker at least right now you know shit could change but this is just a little top five it's just stuff that i have been wearing stuff that i do really fuck with feel me and this is probably my favorite shoe right now low-key that's it for the interview bro like that's my five shoes let me know your five shoes in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, bro. It's right there. You might as well do it. Subscribe to the channel. It's so easy. Like, it could be so easy, bro. But yeah, man. That pretty much does it for this video. I don't even know what else to say, bro. If y'all enjoyed this one, you know what to do. Let me know what y'all been up to today. I hope y'all have a good day, bro. Like, that ass. If nobody's told you, just know that I hope you had a good day. Shit, man. Hopefully, I do something tonight. I'm gonna start trying to vlog along my days here and there. I'm just speaking it into the universe because I dead ass am trying to switch this up, bro. Like, I'm not. It's, it's over, bro. It's over. Just know I'm coming for the game. One thing that I never stop hustling, no matter what, is my Nori Archives bro i've been doing my thing working on some samples for my brand i don't know where i'm gonna take it yet but i know i'm gonna take it somewhere so i'm excited bro there's so much shit coming in the future honestly i just need to put this shit in motion so we can start doing this thing for real i'm gonna start a patreon there's gonna be so much things coming in the future a lot of exclusives so make sure you stay tuned with all that being said though i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up now out